The Revelation of Paul A little child gives a revelation to Paul. Ellipsis About eight lines are missing from the beginning of the text. The road. He asked him, Which road shall I take to go up to Jerusalem? The little child answered and said, First tell me your name, so that then I may show you the way. The little child knew very well who Paul was. He only wished to engage him in conversation with these words, that he might find an excuse to speak with him. The little child continued and said, I know who you are, Paul, for you have been blessed from your mother's womb. Since I have seen that you were going up to Jerusalem to your fellow apostles, that is why I was sent to you. I am the Spirit who is with you. Awaken your mind, Paul. Ellipsis, about six lines are missing. For, ellipsis, all, ellipsis, among the dominions and these authorities and archangels and powers and the whole generation of demons, recognize the one who fashions bodies for a seed of soul. After he finished saying these things, he went on and said to me, Awaken your mind, Paul, and notice that this mountain where you are standing is the mountain of Jericho, so that you may come to know the things hidden in what is visible. You will meet the twelve apostles, for they are chosen spirits, and they will welcome you. He lifted up his eyes and saw them as they were welcoming him. Paul ascends to the fourth heaven. Then the Holy Spirit, who was speaking with him, snatched him up on high to the third heaven and he went on further to the fourth heaven. The Holy Spirit addressed him and said, Look there and see what is like you on the earth. And he looked down and saw those on the earth. He stared and saw those, ellipsis. Then he looked down again and saw the twelve apostles on his right and left in the created world, and the Spirit was walking ahead of them. In the fourth heaven, I, Paul, saw angels resembling gods in their rank, and they were bringing a soul from the land of the dead. The angels put the soul at the gate of the fourth heaven, and they were flogging it. The soul asked, What sin did I commit in the world? The gatekeeper in the fourth heaven answered and said, It was wrong for you to commit all those lawless actions that are typical of the world of the dead. The soul replied, Bring witnesses, and let them tell you in what body I committed lawless actions. Do you want to bring a book and read from it? Three witnesses came. The first said, Wasn't I in the body? Around the second hour I came and rose up against you until you fell into anger, rage, and envy. The second said, Wasn't I also in the world? Around the fifth hour I entered and I saw you and desired you. Look! Now I accuse you of murders you committed. The third said, Didn't I come to you around the twelfth hour of the day, near sunset? I brought you darkness until you completed your sins. When the soul heard these things, she looked down in dejection. Then she looked up again, but she was cast down. The soul that was cast down entered a body prepared for her. And look, the witnesses against her finished testifying. The Fifth Heaven I looked up and saw the Spirit saying to me, Paul, step over here and come by me. As I went, the gate opened, and I ascended to the Fifth Heaven. I saw my fellow apostles coming with me, and the Spirit accompanying us, and I saw a great angel in the Fifth Heaven, holding an iron staff in his hand, and three other angels were with him. I stared into their faces, they were competing with each other, their whips in their hands, driving souls to judgment. But I went along with the Spirit, and the gate opened for me. The Sixth Heaven Then we ascended to the Sixth Heaven. I saw my fellow apostles coming with me, and the Holy Spirit was leading me before them. And I gazed up on high, and saw a great light shining down on the Sixth Heaven. 
I spoke to the gatekeeper in the sixth heaven and said, Open for me, and the Holy Spirit who goes before me, the gatekeeper open for me. The Seventh Heaven Then we ascended to the seventh heaven. In the middle of the light I saw an old man in white clothing. His throne, which is in the seventh heaven, was seven times brighter than the sun. The old man spoke to me and said, Where are you going, Paul, you blessed one, set apart from your mother's womb? I looked at the spirit, and he was nodding his head and saying to me, Speak with him. I replied to the old man, I'm going to the place I came from. The old man responded to me, Where are you from? I answered and said, I am going down to the world of the dead in order to take captive the captivity that was taken in the Babylonian captivity. The old man said to me, How will you be able to escape me? Look and see the dominions and authorities. The spirit said, Give him the sign you have, and he will open for you. I gave him the sign, and he turned his face down toward his creation and his own authorities. The Eighth, Ninth, and Tenth Heavens Then the seventh heaven opened, and we ascended to the eighth realm. I saw the twelve apostles, and they welcomed me. We ascended to the ninth heaven, and I greeted all those in the ninth heaven. We ascended to the tenth heaven, and I greeted my fellow spirits. The Revelation of Paul